Okay. Um, hey guys, uh, this is your boy Ralph, and uh, today I'm bringing to you a new series. Uh, I'm gonna be interviewing varsity students, people that are studying degrees that you guys might be interested in. So I, I felt like it's very important to bring those people that are already, you know, at varsity doing those things, and then they get to tell you about their experiences and the truth about the degrees that you may want to venture into, right? So, um, Sarah, welcome to my channel. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks Thank to you. you thanks to you because, you know, I know you're a very busy person sometimes. So, yeah, anyways. Thank you. So, <laughs> look, um, so where do you study? What are you studying? And, you know. Yes. So I am studying now at the Central University of Technology in Bloemfontein, Free State, and I am doing somatology, diploma in somatology. Somatology, yes. oh, okay. Somatology, okay. So yeah. how is it, how have you <laughs> been studying it? How long have you been doing how? it? How? Oh, it's a three-year degree. Three well, year it's, degree. yeah, three-year diploma. And then you can go ahead and you can do your honors. Your honors would be an extra year. I think you can even go ahead and do a postgraduate if you're really into that type of thing. Okay, so um, but three years a year for your honors. Okay, so, so four. Okay, so how long have you been doing it? Is this your first year, your second year, or your third year? This is my second year now. Second, my second year. year. Oh, okay, great. I thought I thought it was your third year, but anyway. So yeah, I, I guess yeah. you've gone through, you've seen it all, right, right, at this moment, right. So, anyways, um, so before you studied somatology, right, um, like, how how were you in metric? How was your academics in metric in high school? Were you an it A was student? Good. It was good. <laughs> yeah, good. Top ten. It was good. Hey. It was good. Okay. Life was good. Okay, so you... <laughs> life was good. Oh, yeah. in, su in subjects like maths, were you good at maths? Were you good at physics? Do you think that you know influence? Yeah. You know what? Maths was tricky for me. Maths was I tricky. remember 10, 11, 12, it was tricky. Everything was tricky, but then my metric was okay. My metric was I think 60% for maths. My physics I was did very good. Life science was always good. Life science was almost had me. Yeah, life science was always good. I love life science. So oh, so, was fine. That so that was that influenced you, right, to take somatology? Uh it wasn't really my marks. It's my marks just helped. I think I always knew I wanted to do something beauty. I didn't know it could be mythology or more health. I just knew I wanted to do something with beauty. And then so it just happened that way. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so um for someone who doesn't know what somal somatology is, how would you define it based on what you have been doing, your experiences and stuff, what you have been learning basically? How would you okay. define it? So it's basically, if I could say, the study of the skin. We deal with your skin. So if you have skin issues, you know, that's where we come in. So it's basically your skin. And I just like to say, I like to say that we are the people who know everything, but we don't do everything. So yeah. we are dietitians, we are nutritionists, we are pharmacists, everything, everything. We so, are dermatologists, but we are not allowed to diagnose. So we're not allowed to say, this is your problem. I'm going to prescribe one, two, three. No. So if somebody was to come in for a treatment, um, and I look at your skin and I say, okay, you have a fungal infection. I'm not going to say, hey, you have a fungal infection. No, I'll just be like, yeah. so I think you have a fungal infection. It looks like you have a fungal infection. Yeah. I'm going to refer you to a dermatologist and, you know, you need to just get that sorted out before you come back in. I can't work on that. I'm sorry, because it's contagious, but I can't say you have an infection. I'm going to prescribe this and this and this to you, even though I know that you have an infection. It's basically like that. So yeah, we deal with things holistically. So people who do medicine, it's just like, you have one, two, three, and I'm going to prescribe you medication. 
stomatologists will deal with it in a more holistic way. You know, if you have a headache, I'll yeah. give you a massage, I'll give you an aromatherapy treatment. Okay. And then, you know, that would help. So yeah, that's that's how it is. That's how, okay. Um, so do you, how like, how is the experience been? Are you enjoying it? Is it difficult? Is it something that's simple? Yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it is not. I'm like, there are times when it's like, okay, I can deal with this. And then other times I'm just like, why am I even here? Why am I even here? <laughs> but I think what has helped me is I like it. Like, I really love what I do. I love what I do. And so, so if it wasn't even for the, though yeah. like, hmm? So if it wasn't for the passion, you don't think you'd still be there, right? I honestly don't. I don't <laughs> think I would even be here right now. I'm telling you because I would just have been like, you know, what? I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to yeah. do this, but I really love what I do. Yeah. So it's difficult, but it's enjoyable at the same time to me, to me. Yeah. There are a lot of people who leave the course after the first year. They just oh, for do something real? else. Yeah. A lot of people come in because they don't get placed in other courses and they'll be like, oh, there's space there by somatology. And they'll be like, okay. And they they come in thinking, we're just gonna put makeup and watch the girl all day. And they see that it's harder than that. And so at the end of first year, they bound. Yeah, so they, so, they so there's a stigma that, oh, this is simple. Because people look at something like medicine and stuff, right? And they're like, ah, if I can't do medicine, let me just do this. And at the end of the day, they don't know that it's, it's complex, right? yep so everyone whenever i tell anyone i do somatology they just like so you're gonna give me a massage right and i'm <laughs> always like that's not what it's about it's not about that like don't tell me to give me a massage or they'll be like oh so you can do makeup and it's like i'm not a makeup artist overseas they call us um estheticians not somatologists they call it aesthetics you're an esthetician so people think we just play around, you know, do nails and everything. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's more than that. It. Yeah, yeah. it is. Okay, yeah. so, you know, so do you still have like a personal life? Do you still go out with friends and stuff? Or you're always on the books? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, first of all, I'm not so... I don't have a lot of friends, first of all, okay. so I'm not like, you're not going to tell me at a club every weekend, regardless of what I'm studying. Um, but with lockdown and with COVID, it has been easier to kind of balance because normally I would be in class every week. Um, sometimes I would be there from like eight to four, having classes every day, every week, no break. But because of COVID, I have a bit more break in my schedule so I can kind of manage things better you know I'll go out once in a while go have yeah. dinner have lunch or just chill yeah so it's it's better it's much better now normally though you know regardless it is still it's still it's manageable you there'll yeah. be weeks where you don't have time and then there'll be other weeks where it's a bit better so it's manageable yeah so you know since it's your so your second year was there like any module that was like particularly difficult that you just felt like nah this i don't <laughs> was there anything that you felt like nah this is very um, complex so far yeah really now i know now because of um luck. so so the, that's it's so, why um that's why sorry so Okay, so it's the the problem is with the lecturer. You don't really with no with that module with my business module. It's just the lecturer just making things difficult. But apart from that, no, everything has been manageable for me. We do anatomy, so anatomy is a bit. It's a lot of work, but I like it, so it's manageable. Everything uh -huh. has just been manageable. <laughs> okay apart from business yeah you're okay yeah apart from no business business it's it's my goodness no no you don't you don't enjoy this is horrible so you know what business is fine but if somebody makes it hard on purpose that's when there's an issue 
because like come to think of it i'm thinking why would business be the challenging one and yet you know business should be the easy one isn't it you do other subjects like physics and and stuff right yes do you, we do, do we have science we have anatomy okay aesthetic practices and 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 but that's the thing in first year business was fine business was honestly okay it wasn't difficult but now that man like we have it's so depressing <laughs> we have no study material we don't really have notes even the textbook Yo. there's yeah. nothing in there so he will just give and we don't he doesn't give us lectures so he will just give us an assignment and a due date oh. and throw us to the scene, basically and we're just on our own and we're just a bunch of confused chickens we don't know what's happening we don't <laughs> know what is going on and it's like every man for yourself that's how uh, it is yeah that's how business is okay yeah. um so that's the only issue okay so um okay so business is the challenging one i guess but it also depends on which university and who your lecturer is, right? Um, Mainly the lecturer, yeah. So, okay, so the lecturer is the one that influence, that is more influence on what's enjoyable and what's not, right? Okay, yep. um, so anyway, so in high school, you you did sciences, right? Um, did you do sciences? Do you feel like the subjects that you did were beneficial to what you're doing now? Uh, can you basically tell us yeah. what subjects you did? Because I heard you speak about physics and stuff. Yeah. So um, in grade 10, 11, and 12, I actually switched schools. You know, I switched schools from grade 9 to grade 10. And part of the reason why I moved was because I wanted to do subjects that I liked. I didn't want to have to pick a set of subjects. I wanted to pick what I wanted. So when I got into grade 10, I picked physics, life science, and CAT. CAT, I don't know if you know it, it's computer applications technology. Okay. So physics and life science, that was a given. I knew I liked sciences. CAT was just like, let me just do it, but it actually helped. So the life science, it helped a lot because I'm doing a science related course. Even the physics, like we do incorporate a lot of physics and life science. You know, we work with electricity um chemicals products the body that kind of stuff so yeah we do use a lot of physics and life science cats just helped because of basic university stuff man you know you yeah. need to know how to use your word your excel your powerpoint and cats yeah. helped with that so yeah i think my subjects did help yeah. okay they, they did help so what about someone if i if i came from a you know if i was doing like the economics the business studies the accounting do you think I would struggle with with that particular? Thing? I don't even know if you will be um, able to apply because it's a life science, like it's a science based course. And if I remember correctly, you yeah. do need to have life science and physics. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure. Not. You do need to have life science and physics to okay. study somatology. You can okay. just you can fact check me on that. I'm not too sure, but I think so. Yeah. Okay, so those really come in handy. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. so you're at the University of what Free State, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, I'm a Central University of Technology, the other one. Oh, oh, my bad. I <laughs> no, nah, yeah, okay. my bad, my bad. My the bad. University of Free State didn't have my course. It didn't have somatology. Oh, for real? So I couldn't do it there. Oh, so um. How is it there? Do you enjoy it? Would you recommend people going there? Is it a good place to be? Or, you know, it's like, ah, I'm just, I just want to finish my degree or my diploma and get out of here. It's the ghetto. <laughs> it is the ghetto, I'm telling you. You know what, the school itself, ne? CUT, I think they do a lot in terms of trying to make their graduates stable in terms of trying to provide them jobs when they leave, giving you business opportunities, um, scholarship opportunities. They really trying their best in that. Like I know someone personally who was able to go to Germany and get a job in Germany oh, yeah. because of, yeah, cause of an opportunity that CUT gave him. But that's only available to the engineering and IT kids. I don't know if the other departments have that or the faculties. So I know they try with that, but then 
Mm, apart from that, CUT has a lot of issues, a lot of, you know, yeah. political and socioeconomic issues with the students. And, and protests and, and stuff. Do you, so, so you have it's just mm, so you have pro it's are there a lot protests of your, and stuff? Your be, yeah, we do get a lot. The academics will be interrupted quite a bit. Um, yeah, people complain a lot about their allowances and mm. and, and so for your academics, it's just irritating to constantly be interrupted. We're behind right now with the um syllabus because of. First of all, CET had a lot of issues with the online learning. And then on yeah. top of that, there were protests. So just very behind. Yeah. And then Willows itself is just a ghetto. Bloemfontein yeah. is a ghetto as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so do you still recommend you do you still recommend it? Or you're like loof elsewhere? Like honestly, if you if you think you can deal with the protests and your stuff being interrupted and living in the ghetto then okay it's not a problem <laughs> you know i think it's a good school academically but if you don't want to deal with that then really, i don't Look know where elsewhere to mm, yeah. okay um okay yeah, uh, yeah. so anyway so do you recommend okay what would you advise you know people that are looking towards somatology like what would you advise them uh about studying it Okay, so first of all, only do it if you know you actually really like, I won't just say even beauty, to be honest, because beauty is just a step. It's so much more than that. So if you know you are into making people feel good about themselves, not just on the outside, but from the inside, if you know you're into the whole beauty and makeup and, you know, that department, and if you think you can deal with pressure effectively, then I would say give it a try. It's very rewarding. But don't take it as your second choice. Don't take it as just a maybe because um, you probably won't like it. You might end up really loving it or you'll just be like, I'm not going to do this. So I would say do it if you have a passion for it because you need passion to do it. There's really no other way to yeah. be honest. Yeah. 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 Hey, um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I, I hope thank we will be able to do a part two when, you know, when people send their questions, maybe we can do a part two if people have particular awesome. questions that they want to ask. Um, anyway, yeah. so let's talk about your social media. Are you present on social media and uh, what is your yes. IG handle? <laughs> I, I know you have a YouTube channel, right? Do you mind mentioning it? Yes, I have a YouTube channel. It's called um, Oni's Corner. And that's basically where I do my makeup tutorials and all those things. Then my Instagram, my business Instagram is Oni's Teak. So that's where, you know, everything I do, my work, because I am a makeup artist and I do hair and I'm a esthetician as well to be, but you know. Okay. So that's all on my business Instagram. So I'll just, yeah, and Princess Onigne on Instagram as well. Okay. Follow me there. I okay. do it there. Okay, I'll leave those down in the link <laughs> in the <laughs> description below. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> a lot. Thanks, thanks a lot for you know for have, for allowing me to have this Thank opportunity you. with you, um, guys. This Thank is you Sarah. So I hope you enjoyed the interview. Um, if you have any questions, just comment them in the in the comment section. Then we might do a part two, but I'll only do a part two if this video gets at least two hundred likes, right? And if you guys check out your social media pages, right? That's when I'll do a part two. So, uh, anyways, cheers. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.